Welcome to Shovelware Diggers. Our dig team is currently excavating the Softkey Shareware 2000 Hit Games 2 CD Collection. You can find a link in the video description containing the entire directory structure of this archive. Here's what our dig teams dug up for week 7, and as you can see, they're all Windows games. For more information on how to join the dig team, simply head on over to the Patreon page linked in the video description. Now without further ado, let's begin. First up, a new digger, Sean E, has dug up win games backslash unclassified backslash worm war. Okay, I don't have a freaking idea what this is going to be. Unclassified, worm war. I got a text file. Worm war is a simple game that is similar to Centipede. Runs under Windows 3.0 only. Uh, this was written back in the not in early 90, 1990, so... Maybe it'll work properly in Windows 3.1. Um, mouse or arrow keys can be used to move a player. Left mouse or spacebar fires. Okay. Let's play this thing. Yeah, this looks a lot like Centipede. Start new game. Ah, uh, whoa. Okay, gonna have to turn the cycles down for this one. Start new game. That's still too fast. Holy jeez. Okay, this is as low as I can turn it. Okay, that works. Sort of. <laughs> okay, um... Maybe I turned it down a little too much. Okay, so the game definitely has speed issues. It's clearly centipede, like, I mean... <laughs> yeah. Well, jeez, the game has some serious speed issues, actually. It was way too fast m most of the time, and then way too slow the rest of the time. But yeah, it's playing as one would expect. It's got a lot of the, a lot of similarities to Centipede, obviously. <laughs> I don't know. Like this looks pretty competent, save for the speed issues. It's kind of weird that the player is also locked to the grid. Like, I mean, I'm moving in grid increments even though I'm using the mouse, so it's kind of weird like that, but... I don't know, this is kind of making me wish I was playing, like, the real centipede and not this thing. It's competent for what it is for sure. And we are talking, like, an early Windows 3.0 game. Like, Windows 3.1 wasn't even out when this thing was made, so... Well, at least that's what I'm assuming, but... I don't actually know what the release date of Windows 3.1 is. How's that for... How's that for preparing ahead for a video that's mostly going to be Windows games? Oh, well. This game's okay. Nothing spectacular, but definitely some issues in terms of game speed. Next up, Pixel Diva dug up win games backslash card backslash crispy. A card game called Crispy. Well, you do have a readme.doc. Um, <laughs> I don't have file association set up for doc files, though, so... I remember to set up an association for this later on. But, software is written to Visual Basic, requires two DLLs, VB run, one... Ugh. So, considering one of them was included... Oh no, VB run 100 is already here. Okay, so we're good. So... Definitely a solitaire game of some type, with an interesting set of card backs. We'll go with the Mandelbrot. So, how do we play this? The object of the game is to place the face cards on the edges while removing all non-face cards a pair at a time. To remove a pair, click the first card, it'll reverse image, click matching card, and pair will be removed. Hmm. Okay, so, like... Um, new game. Ace and Ace? Yeah, that seems to work. And you can deal new cards whenever, apparently. Um, so is this just like a simple matching game? That, that, that can't be it. Like, that would be too easy. Or hang on, it won't let me remove these kings. Okay, that's kind of weird. Oh, I can't remove the queens either? So, how does that work then? Okay, there it goes. Now it's working. Why wasn't that working before? 
It wasn't let me... Never mind. Okay, so kings apparently go at the top and bottom. Queens go on the sides. And jacks in the corners? Is that what I'm getting from this? Yes. So this jack would go over here. Now this queen would go where this ace is, but I can't move that because the ace is in the way. So what I would have to do is remove some more cards. I can move that queen here. Okay, it's working now. That was weird that it wasn't working properly before. Get rid of the fours. And we deal new cards. Then get rid of these tens. These fives, these sixes. So deal some more cards. So this jack is in a corner, so we want that jack there. Um, you can get rid of these aces and then move this queen here. This king goes here. The jack goes here. So this is actually still a pretty simple solitaire game. I imagine there is a little bit of random luck going on here, but yeah, and that's it. Yeah, that wasn't that hard at all. I think it would be possible to lose if you got a lot of these car these um face cards out early on. Whoa, the game is lagging something heavy now. Jeez. Turn the cycles back up. But um Yeah, I think the way it works is if you get a lot of face cards early on, you're probably going to get screwed, but if you get a if most of your face cards don't come until later, then you'll be able to keep pulling pairs off to make room for the face cards to get them into the right positions. There's a lot of random chance in this one. I can't really call this a great solitaire game, but yeah, at least it functions, save for that massive, massive CPU usage spike at the end there. Our last game for the day is from the win games backslash adventure backslash hero folder, and that one was dug up by Jonathan Lore. Part of me is kind of wishing this is going to be like a hero quest thing, but at the same time, I got a feeling that's not the case. Let's see, the readme says, Hero 1 has instructions included in the game on how to play. Okay, so why was it so important to read this then? <laughs> I don't think this person understands the concept of readme. <laughs> You're just going to tell me to look in the game for the instructions. Okay. We're off to a bad start, but hopefully the game will actually be decent. Well, this is interesting. We got rainbow red dragons and a yellow dragon that's potentially also black and or see-through. Hmm. Okay, $3 is definitely one of the cheapest of the <laughs> the games I've ever seen on this in here. Story so far. Hero, the challenge is the story of you, the hero hunter of your village. Returning from an unsuccessful hunt, you find that a small dragon has destroyed your village. Gotta hate when that happens. It's up to you to collect the power of the land and save what's left of your people. And instead of a simple OK button, it's OK, I'm done. Let's play this thing. Um, oh, I get to actually create a character? Cool. So, yeah. Character name... Randomize. 11, 12, 14, 7. I have no idea how good any of those are. Help. Oh, it's just... Okay. Well, let's just... Ra Ooh. Those look like they might be decent. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Oh, I actually have a lot more stats on the side here. I've got an inventory... This is actually looking kind of interesting here. Um... Armor, Leather, Weapon, Spear. Damage 1 to 5, 14 health, 0 honor. Honorless bastard. The day has been long and frustrating. Your village is out of meat. And no game. And yeah, no wonder we're frustrated then. No games passed in front of your stand. Wait a little longer, head back into the village, head further into the... Far Thor? Oh boy. <laughs> We're dealing with a game with someone who can't write English very well. <laughs> that or he forgot to spell check. Um, head back to village. I don't know. Let's, um... Hey, where, wait. There's a button that says, hey, where's the picture? 
Okay, I'm guessing this is probably like a refresh button in case it doesn't draw because somebody's got a stupid video card or something. Wait until dark, but the largest animal you see is a blue jay. Blue jay is still meat. Kill it. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's head back. From the woods, you can see the village is in shambles. A dragon has destroyed your village. At the moment, he is surveying the wreckage and contemplating eating your wife. With three exclamation marks. <laughs> so run and hide with three question marks and exclamation marks. Attack the dragon. Sneak into the woods to prepare your attack. I'm going to say this last one. Because i got a funny feeling that dragon is going to be not fun. <laughs> the woods beckon to you. Your quest awaits. And you can faintly hear your wife's cries back in what used to be the village. Well, this got off to a dark and depressing start. <laughs> um... Uh, wait, which... I've got direction controls here, but which direction was the village? Ah, oh, let's just go east. Okay, we've got, um... Pegasus. I could not help but see what has occurred. You must save your village and your mare. What? <laughs> okay, um... Seek out the sturdy dwarves and the agile elves. Maybe they can help you. I hear they both make magic armaments. I can go for some magic. <laughs> so I'm not fighting any dragon. It's probably like the let's not play this game anymore button. Favorite hunting place. You finally remember all the game you've taken from these woods. Oh, whoa. Oh. Okay, I get what that's for now. If you click somewhere that's not valid, it for some reason clears this image here. So that's what this hey, where's the picture button's for. That's kind of dumb, but... Let's head south. Uh-oh. A black and red creature stands here, as if eternally waiting for someone to challenge him. Behind him, there seems to be a hole in the ground. Hey, all Attack! Um, I hear a big fellow. I'll just be moving along. Let's pick that one. The creature seems not to notice you. Yay, let's move south more. Small red gem sits in the woods. It glitters in the sunlight. Uh, can I grab it? Pick up the small gem. It seems to be warm in your hands as a small fire burns within. Ah, I'm on fire! Okay, I'm not really, but... Uh, south? More forest. You wonder if you will ever be able to walk hard and hand with your wife through these forests again. My wife is probably dragon food by now. I'm not sure, but I think these are the purple mountains. They look kind of brown to me. Uh-oh. A beautiful... You call that beautiful? A beautiful girl bathes here. Her hair looks vaguely like seaweed, and her skin is clear and translucent. She stands, and you notice she is naked. Thankfully not here, otherwise I'd have to censor that. Come to me, oh man. I have great need of you. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm very flattered, but I have a woman. Sorry. Der, um, what is it um you need me for? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Great, I... Great, I have need of you as well. Got any mead? <laughs> what is with this? Oh. But I am so lonely. Please, can you not help me? Just stay and talk with me for a year or two. Maybe you know someone that could keep me company. Anything? Bye-bye. Notice that this is not crippled in any way. If you would... Seriously? <laughs> he advertising the fact that you want... Your three dollars? <laughs> what brings you to your village? I hear you have a sword for me. I have a very powerful sword for sale. Have you anything of worth to trade for it? This gem. A life gem. Amazing. I will gladly trade my sword for this. Yay, I have a sword. Does 1 to 15 damage now. That is the worst backdrop ever. <laughs> we need to make some mountains and maybe some water. Okay, here's some blue, some green, and this decidedly triangular polygonal thing at the top that looks like a mountain, sort of. Why do all these graphics look stretched and distorted? Oh, hello. Strange large warrior advances towards you, blood on his axe. He looks hungry. If you're looking for a beaten, you came to the right man. <laughs> that wouldn't be human blood on that axe, would it? Hey, calm down, I was just passing through. Let's go with that one. Bah! Now you have spoiled my appetite. Cowardly humans taste awful. <laughs> so that's interesting that you're actually able to bypass these battles, but I'm guessing that you probably have to fight some of these guys. That wouldn't be human blood. Actually, it's dwarf blood, but humans are much tastier. Oh, and we do actually have a battle system here of some sort. 
So I can thrust slash berserk, magic, or help. I kind of like the help one. <laughs> Thrust allocates energy to accuracy and hitting, while Slash allocates energy to doing damage if you hit. Well, it kind of makes more sense to just thrust then. So, yeah. You hit your opponent for 19, opponent hits you for... Oh, jeez. That was like half my health there. Let's thrust him again. Yay, I won. Pegasus is saying all right. The body of a strange creature lies here, a victim of your great skill. And he didn't give me any honor because he's an honorless prick. Looks like I am gaining, like, some sort of experience or something. Wait, wait, what did that- you really have a- what? You really have a craving for a Big Mac? You're seriously gonna advertise your, like, favorite fast food chain and your little indie title? This game is so weird. Oh, now we got unicorns, not just Pegasuses. Pegasuses, Pegasi, I don't know. I seek mead at a woman to replace the one I lost? Oh my... This game is just something else. You know what, let's let's deal with this guy now. Let's, um... Maybe we should just attack him. Yeah, well, why not? So, thrust. Thrust again. Thrust again. No, I died, despite the fact that a whole... Oh, I forgot to use my lat magic. Bummer, the enemy wins. It's not game over, it's just bummer, man. Oh, that's it? That's it? There's no save or... Oh, jeez. You can't make a game like this and not have a save feature. This was quite the interesting game. Like, I mean, there was a lot of content here. Like, very amateur content. Look, don't get me wrong, but... A lot of content all the same. So someone... I'm guessing the person who made this was probably like... Probably like a teenager, maybe a young adult at the time. Just from the qual quality of everything here. I don't know, this is a very, very unique thing. So what I'm getting here is that the main person who wrote this was Jamie Wakefield. Probably had a bunch of help from this... Bill Quenznell? It's hard to read because of the this gradient thing going on. But I'm guessing just from the nature of this credit right here, that this is somebody who just sort of helped this guy out and didn't actually work on the game or anything. And then we got one person doing the graphics. And then a couple more people who didn't actually contribute to the game. So basically this game was made by two people. One person did the programming and story, and the other person did the actual graphics. So, yeah, this was definitely an interesting thing. I Hero the Challenge version 1. I say go check this out if you can find it online anywhere, because there's probably a lot more to this than I got to see. But yeah, it definitely looks like that it, it has that amateur quality, but it works. So, like, I mean, I don't know. As I, it, yeah, it, it's worth checking out. I'd say that for sure.